Hey folks, my name is Ryan. I uh, finally got my hands on Mechs vs. Minions. Um, I'm excited to get going and started. Um, I bet if you're like me, you were really excited for the game, but there hasn't been too many tutorials or anything online of just gameplay footage. Um, so if you guys like these, I'm gonna try and go through the entire series, um, starting with the tutorial. Um, for people who don't know what Mechs vs. Minions really is, it is a programming game by uh, Riot Games. Um, they are now officially Riot Games, not Riot Game, because if you are familiar with League of Legends, as great of a game as it is, it is their only game that they've actually made. Um, but basically you play as these little wacky characters, there are four of them total, I'm just showcasing off two of them right now. Uh, but there is Heimerdinger, Corky, Ziggs, and Tristana, and once again, if you're familiar with League of Legends, those are two, like, are four of the bigger ones that are, uh, bigger characters that are in the games. Um, they are called the Ordals, though. Um, but I'm basically just going to go through the tutorial with you first, um, get me warmed up a little bit. I've never really done anything like this before, so please bear with me. Um, and then if you like it, then give the video a good like. Alright, so basically the concept of Mechs vs. Minions is it is a programming game. Um, every time, each turn, you'll start with a draft phase, basically going grabbing command cards. There are movement cards, there are turn cards, and there are actually attack cards. The objective of this tutorial is to destroy those pink crystals that you see right here um, using your programming to, for the actual movement of your mechs. Um, so I'm just going to get it started. Let's, uh, a lot of you have probably seen some at least intro videos, but if not, if this is your first video watching, then hopefully I do a good job explaining it and hopefully you're, you get really excited about the game because I've played a few rounds of this so far with some friends before I even made this video, so I know the rules pretty decently. And um, I'm just excited to get this going. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so there, every phase, player phase, draft command cards. This is the first action that we did. We got, I got all these set up done already, just setting up the game itself. This is the consider the school. This, is, these are the little crystals that we're looking to destroy, and these are my two yordles. I'm gonna play as two players during these videos, just because playing by yourself, it gets really, really complicated. Um, and one person can easily control two or three people, or even four if you're going to be a little bit high, uh, more skilled, I guess. And if you're a loser like, and don't have friends like me, then, well, playing two people at once kind of makes you feel a little bit more accomplished. Um, but anyway, so, dra draft command phase. And during the tutorial step, we are only drawing five cards. The first player goes first. Every round, the first player changes. We would basically switch back and forth between Tristana and Ziggs each turn. For this little video, I'm just making player one Tristana because she's my personal favorite. So draft command cards. Player phase is broken into three main phases. And basically it starts with draft, play, and execute. And we just basically rinse and repeat for right now. During the draft phase, we're doing a draft five cards. And as first player Tristana, my goal is once again, get to these crystals. So looking at these cards, the draft is going to be timed after the tutorial. However, looking at these cards, I'm looking to try and get move, and I'm looking to eventually turn. You kind of this is a cooperative game. You are not fight working against each other. You want to come. Uh, you want to play with both of each other equally, so that way you figure out. All right, that's the best way to oh, course of action. Discussing with my partner, if I had one, I know that these two cards right here would basically be perfect for me to get lined up and set up. But I don't want him necessarily stuck by himself either. So, as Tristana, first player, I'm going to draft the first card, and I'm going to make it speed. You, once you put these cards inside of your little cockpit, your mech, then those are programmed into it. You can't change it unless, we'll get into some other ways that you can change it around later, but for right now, this is, I'm putting this in the second slot. I like leaving space. You don't always want to put something in chronological order, like one, two, three, four. How you put these cards in your mech is how your character is going to function. Um, so speed, I'm going to just put in my second slot. I feel like it's a good safe area to be in the first or second slot for movement, especially early into the game. Um, zigs. I, like I said, I think movement is probably like one of the first things you want to grab. You don't just want to stay in one spot, so we're going to put him and that in his second spot, and that's Skewer. I'm going to grab Cyclotron, and again, I don't necessarily want to make that like the right after each other. I do want to leave room. I'm debating between four and five, but I'm just going to put it in four. This is the tutorial, so it's not thing too crazy difficult. Um, and then now, Ziggs automatically gets a Chain Lightning. And it's a damage spell. I like putting those at the end. Either five or six, that's usually where I would like to fo focus them on. 
It's not necessary. Um, that's just so far the strategy that I've been going with. So draft phase is all set. Now we are going to play command cards. This is the step two for player phase. So for Tristana, she's player one. We're going to move two spaces, one to two spaces, based off the speed card. So one, two. And then Cyclotron. Must, you must turn 90 degrees. And then you shoot at a uh, diagonal, a one spot. So all diagonal targets in one range. So this would be in one range. Bam, I am already destroying the crystals. That was probably like one of the perfect draft phases for this. Uh, for this. <clears throat> now... I'm sorry, this was step three. This is the execute phase, not the step two. Um, so, now that Tristana is fully executed, we're going to go with Ziggs. He's player two. So, with Ziggs, he has a skewer. And actually, I'm going to move this over here for this tutorial. Just to make it a little bit easier for me. So, step two with Ziggs is skewer. We are going to move forward one space. And then we are going to chain lightning. So chain lightning hits the first three uh, place, places directly in front of you. One, two, three. Nothing hits, so he kind of just does nothing right now. So that is literally the player phase. It is draft command cards, play co command cards, and then execute those command lines. It is pretty, It's that's pretty basic. I mean, basically just going through the line and customizing your mech. That looks really easy. This is the tutorial though. It definitely gets a little bit trickier. I've known from experience, so. From here, we're going to redo the draft phase. So, flip five cards, and it is now Zig's turn to draft first. Now, he kind of got the butt end of the stick last time, so let's get him moving a little bit more. But we also do need to turn. He, you can't do anything if you don't turn. But Tristana, all we have is turn cards now. This is where it gets a little bit trickier because I don't necessarily want any of those right now because just you're basically turning 90 degrees to turn 90 degrees again. Um, but actually, that's not too bad. We'll, we'll do that. Um, so back to Ziggs. Ziggs draft, Trist draft, Ziggs draft. Uh, we will turn. All right. So, and then... Yeah, Trist, um, I guess take a full fuel tank, I guess. We're basically just turning a lot. So everybody has four cards right now. That is the end of the draft phase. Play command cards. Already played them. Execute those command lines. So Ziggs is first this time. We are going to skewer one. We are going to blaze. So blaze just hits everything on the sides of it. Ziggs got his first crystal. We are then going to rotate. And then we are going to chain lightning. Once again, the chain lightning does miss. So, for Tristana, though, we are going to move two spaces. One, two. We are going to Cyclotron, turning 90 degrees. Which, I guess I'll go that way. doesn't matter. And then we are going to Scythe, 90 degrees. Now, Scythe deals one dant target within one range, killing this last crystal. So, um, that is that's a basic tutorial. However, now things escalate. Um... Basically, what this escalation means, and a lot of the missions coming up, there's always going to be an escalation. Missions may include one or more moments when the conditions of the rules change. Typically, a mission will escalate in difficulty and complexity. Escalations are triggered by specific player actions at certain times of the mission. Read the escalation rules carefully beforehand. So, incoming damage. So, now that we got that out of the way, we killed all the crystals, we are going to take some damage. Apparently, they're very volatile, and they will explode on you. So... Um, as Tristana, she, um, I'm sorry, Ziggs was first last time, so Tristana is going to end up taking first this time, and she's taking damage. So we draw one from the damage deck, and this is a slot. There are three different types of damage cards. There are there's slot ones, there's or system damage cards, there's glitch damage cards, and slot damage cards. So this is a slot one. What we do for the slot is we roll the dice, and it, we roll the five. So it's going to go in the fifth spot, overriding the scythe. Now, that's not the end of the world. And there is way to repair damage, but I'll go over that after. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, same thing with Ziggs now. He's taking damage as well. Glitch. So this one's a discard. Um, re swap, orders, uh, swap slots three and four. So one, two, three, four. So this kind of switches us up a little bit. And then that just goes in the bottom. Or discard it, whatever you want to do. Um, all right, so... 
types of damage cards. We already went over that. So new tutorial objective, eliminate the minions. Now that the vile tiles exploded on us, they are having us set up minions. And in this tutorial, we are setting them up in specific places. Two, two. Tristana would, uh, normally a minion would spawn on Tristana. However, she's already blocking that. So it blocks that minion. All right, so the main phase, the minion phase now. They all have their own phases. So after the draft, play, and execute phase, we are in the minion movement phase. So with this minion movement in the tutorial, they have us roll this little rune dice that'll come in. Um, ooh, I never even set up this little part. So, so it's there. So I roll this dice, and it's red. So all, move all minion space in the corresponding direction of the color compass. Now this is the little compass that it comes in. This comes in very handy. Um, well, it's basically how the game's kind of run as far as a lot of different movement things, and there are some glitches that go along with this as well. Um, but making sure you set this up uh, the right direction is very, very important for the game. It is designed like that. So we're going to move all minions one space in that corresponding direction. And then these two minions, they cannot go off board. This is where they stop. <clears throat> um, step five, spawn new minions. For the tutorial, we're not spawning new minions. It says that specifically. But this is where normally we get swarmed and we start getting hit. Now, minions attack. Minions do damage by damage cards. If they are adjacent, meaning right next to each other, then when they're next to an Yordle, they'll end up taking damage. So when a mech takes one damage per adjacent minion, and starting with the first player, draw damage cards for each taken. So this minion right here is the only one that's adjacent to anybody. She's attack uh, that minion's attacking Tristana. So we're going to draw from the damage deck. And again, this is a slot. This is really messing with their programming. And it's going in number four, too. 